Okay, we're out here with an Italian Carcano M38 short rifle in 6.5 millimeter. Uh, somebody asked about if the bayonet would change point of impact, because I did a video on the bayonet. I don't know, we brought it out. Just sit around. I'm going to fire a couple clips of the cast bullets. And the way it looks, this thing's shooting right on at 50 yards, which is unusual for a Carcano. And uh, I think this magazine spring's a little weak because I had trouble feeding some of the cartridges. So we're going to go see what we get with the cast, see what we get the jacketed, and see what happens when we attach the van. Yeah, that magazine spring's a little weak on the follower arm. Might have to change that out. Okay, let's go down and see what we did with the cast. Alright, as you can see, accuracy wise, my cast bullet load is pretty good. At 50 yards, and just putting the uh, top of the front sight to the top of the notch, and aiming right here, that's what we got. Now that's unusual, usually the Carcanos are shooting high, so this must have a taller front sight on it or something. Like I said, you, you can't tell. Each and every gun shoots in a different place with the same type of sights. Uh, so that's the cast. Now I'm going to shoot some jacketed bullets and see if the point of impact changes using the same sight picture. Okay, now we're going to try the same thing. I'm going to use the Hornady uh, jacketed soft point bullets. I'm going to try six. These are a bit more expensive to shoot. This clip looks a little beat up, so that may be a problem. Yes, it could have been.
go down and take a look. Okay, as you see, the point of impact was higher and to the left, which is just unusual. I mean, the lead bullets are right on, but the jacketed bullets, you'd have to adjust for windage. And they're shooting higher, which makes sense because they're going faster. So, that's our basic deal uh, between the cast and the jacket. Now let's go with the bayonet. Okay, what we're going to do, because of the expense and that, we're just going to stick with the cast bullets, plus they're shooting better. So I'm going to take the bayonet fold, okay? And I believe they had a problem with this uh, bayonet. That's why they later on would convert many of them into the fixed position. All right. So now we got it on there folded. Now we know we're right on with our cast bullets. So I'm going to fire it with the bayonet on and shoot it at that lower clean target and see what I come up with. See if I can still hit the bullseye because I know where these shoot to a point. Go see what we did. Alright, looks like the point of impact has changed. Higher. Now I don't know if it's just the way I sit on the bench. Maybe we'll try it with a clean target here and see what I end up with. Still grouping good. Barrel's heating up. That's probably why the groupings are uh, getting bigger. But it does look like with the bayonet on, the point of impact got raised. All right, with the fold, bayonet folded down, uh, it seems it shot a little higher. Of course, I shifted targets then. We're going to go back to the upper target with the bayonet in the extended position. Uh, that didn't really move or come loose in the six shots. But then again, the cast bullets really aren't going in the full recoil like the jacket. So we'll put another clip down into the target and see if the point of impact has changed. Yep, this one's going to have to have to be knocked down in the mag spring.
All right, go down and take a look. Okay, as we can see again, with the bayonet on, the point of impact is higher. Okay, obviously the bayonet does have an effect on it. I may go and shoot one more clip at this target. Notice where these are. And see if I can get back down in the block like the original one. Alright, there's your proof. Without the bayonet on, in the black, four, five, six. Okay, that's about extreme spread of six inches. Say it makes a four inch difference in the point of impact uh, with the bayonet. So I hope that answers your question. Um, yeah, if you attach the bayonet on there, either way, folded or fixed, uh, your point of impact does change. So that's kind of like why I really don't fool around with bayonets on the rifles. I just shoot the rifle. But that answers that question.